good morning students today i am going to explain you the chapter letter to god why the chapter has been written letter to god before you read just see they say faith can move mountains yes if we have got a faith in god if we have got a faith on ourselves we can do any impossible thing but what should we put a faith in the question is arising now whether we should put faith in god in people or in ourselves this is a question this story delicately poses you will come to know what kind of a faith the author is talking about lanto is a farmer who writes a letter to god when his crops are ruined ruined means destroyed asking for a 100 pesos peso is a currency of italy does lanto's letter reach god does god send him the money think what your answers to these questions would be and guess how the stories continue before you begin to read so as we will go through the uh, chapter you will come to know whether he the god has helped him directly or indirectly was lancho happy with the help which he received from god now let's see the chapter the house the only one in the entire valley sat on the crest of the low hill that is you in physics you have studied about crust and crust crust is upper crust is lower so we could say the foothill from this height one could see the river and the field of ripe corn dotted with flower dotted means decorated filled with flower that always promised a good harvest the only thing the earth needed was a downpour that is rain or at least a shower throughout the morning lancho who knew his field intimately intimately means well very well very close to had done nothing else but see the sky towards the north east so there was a farmer whose name was lancho and he used to live on the crest on the means uh, foothill of a low hill the valley where he used to live and he had grown a corn in his field now this corn had ripened and it need to be harvested but before harvesting the crop there they need a shower of rain so lancho every time used to look towards the sky to see and he used to look towards the direction of north east because he knew that the rain cloud will come from that direction now we are really going to get some water woman he is telling to his wife the woman means his wife who was preparing supper dinner replied yes god willing yes god will then only it will rain the older boys were working in the field while the smaller ones were playing near the house until the woman called them all come for dinner it was during the meal that as the lancho had predicted as lancho had already said that it is going to rain yes it indeed started raining big drops of rain began to fall in the north east huge mountain of cloud could be seen approaching what happened how we come to know that it's going to be rain when we see the black clouds black clouds thundering lightning this all is what it's a sign that it's going to rain the air was fresh and sweet the man went for no other reason than to have the pleasure means happiness of feeling the rain on his body the man miss lancho and when he returned he exclaimed these aren't rain drop falling from sky they are new coins he had compared the rain with the new coins the big drops are set 10 cent pieces we call it na 10 paisa 20 paisa and the little ones are five so he compared the rain drop with a 10 paisa and with five paisa such was the size of the rain drop with a satisfied expression he regarded the field of ripe corn with its flower draped means covered in a curtain of rain so his whole corn flower crop was covered with rain but suddenly a strong wind began to blow and along with the rain very large hail stone began to fall so in the beginning when it was raining lancho was feeling very happy he had compared the rain drops with the 10 cent and a 5 cent but all of a sudden his happiness 
changed into sadness, sorrow, because as it was raining heavily, there was hailstones also. In Hindi, we call it ole. These truly did resemble new silver coins. So Lancho had compared this uh, hailstone, which we call ole, bolte hai, with a silver coin. The boys, exposing themselves to the rain, ran out to collect the frozen pearls. Pearls means moti. Frozen means ice. So, so the boys were feeling very happy. They were collecting those pearls. It is really getting bad now, exclaimed the man. Man means Lancho. Now Lancho was feeling very sad because the hailstorm was not stopped. It was continuously falling on the crop. I hope it passes quickly. It did not pass quickly. For an hour, the hail rained on the house, the garden, the hillside, the cornfield, whole valley. The whole valley was attacked, you can say, was covered with the hailstone. Everywhere they could see that small, small yellow, sorry, small, small ice ball. The field was white as it is covered with salt. The whole field was covered with hailstone and so from the far it was looking that the salt was there in the field. Not a leaf remained on the tree. The corn was totally destroyed due to hailstone. The flowers were gone from the plants. Lancho's soul was filled with sadness. Lancho was filled with sorrow. When the storm had passed, the st he stood in the middle of the field and said to his son, a plague of locust. What is locust? Insect. In Hindi, we call it tidhi. You must have seen recently India was plagued with locust. It, was, it had come from Africa via Central Af Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and then India. So wherever the locust will be there, entire crops would damage. So uh, Lancho is saying, a plague of locusts could have left more than this. The hail has left nothing. This year, we will have no corn. So, the uh, Lancho was feeling very sad. He was telling to his sons that due to hailstone, their cornfield was totally destroyed. So, that year, they have to go hungry. That night was a sorrowful one, sad one indeed. It was a sadful one. Indeed, the people, uh, Lancho and his family were very sad. They were in sorrow because their crops had been damaged by the hailstone. They will not have anything to eat throughout that year. That year. All are work for nothing. There is no one who can help us. We will all go hungry this year. So he said he, they, nobody is there to help them. So they have to go hungry. But... In the hearts of all who live in that solitary house, in the middle of the valley, there was a single hope held from God. This we will continue tomorrow, the next part, and we will see whether the hope which Lancho had in God was fulfilled or not. Okay, I think the chapter is clear to you. Tomorrow again, we will be dealing with the next one.